Welcome back everyone. Today I have a fun little acrylic project to share with you. And if you have been on the fence about reaching out to any schools or high school sports programs, this is your sign to do it. Any sports family knows how invested parents, coaches, and players are in their teams. And there is a lot of money to be made in the kids' athletic space. With nearly eight million high school student athletes and over two million kids playing club sports across the country. This is surely a niche that you should consider tapping into. Recently, I was asked to make bag tags for a local high school boys volleyball team and I jumped at the opportunity. This was actually my first time really working with acrylic and I gotta say, I am absolutely hooked. It is such a great material to use with your laser. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is head right into Lightburn. I used an SVG file for the basic tag shape just to save a little bit of time. Click the A in the tool panel and start typing out the name. Once the name is typed out, click the arrow in the tool panel. Place it roughly in the center of the tag. Next, I change the font by clicking on the font drop-down menu at the top of the screen. Once you find the font you want, just click it. Then you will want to make sure that your horizontal spacing is correct. For script type fonts, I always set my spacing to zero. Now I just need to get the size correct. Click the name so that you get the little marching ants and little squares around the perimeter. Click one corner and drag it out to make the item larger. Now we just need to make sure that the name is the right color in the layers palette and it's set to cut I had already planned on having the name on these tags raised in 8th inch acrylic. I set this item to red and made sure it was line, which means the thunder will cut and not fill, which would be an engrave. This next step isn't mandatory, but I promise you it's going to save you a ton of time when you go to assemble any of your pieces. You're gonna wanna create a little score line so that you know exactly where each piece goes. I use this on every single product I make that has letters or small pieces. Words cannot express how much easier your assembly and glue up process is gonna be just by making the score line. With the name still highlighted with the marching ants, go to your left panel and click the large O. This is your offset tool. Click inward, then set the distance to 0 0.20. Click OK. Now you see that a new outline was created inside of the marching ants, which is where your cut line is. Click on the new solid line to highlight it. Then in your layers panel, you just want to make this another color to indicate that it's gonna be a score line. I just used 15, which is the color purple. Next, I needed to add the additional text that will be engraved on these bag tags. I grabbed my type tool and typed out my text, then changed my font. Reduced the size to fit in the space I needed, changed the horizontal spacing, made some adjustments, and in the layers panel, made sure that this was set to fill, which is an engrave. Some last final adjustments, and then I typed out my last bit of engraved text. Each of the tags I made included the player or coach's name, their abbreviated high school, and their position or title. To make sure the engrave was the same size on the text, I just clicked one of them, checked the height, and then clicked the other text to make sure that it was the same size. With everything in place, I double checked my engrave and cut settings. My score line for eighth inch acrylic is 45 speed and seven power, my engrave is 450 speed with 35 power, line interval set to 0 .085, cut line is 15 speed and 55 power, and because the name will be cut separately, I made sure to turn that layer off by ticking the output and show options in the layers panel. Now you just need to send the file to the laser and let the magic happen. On the laser control panel, hit file and then click enter when it comes up. I always double check the settings here before I run the machine. 
Then to make sure I have my material in the right place, I always frame my projects. Make any small adjustments if needed and focus the laser head to six millimeters by raising or lowering your bed. Click start and let it go. I have my score lines going first, then my engrave, and then always end with cutting. For the raised names on the tag or anything that you might be gluing down, you're gonna wanna make your life so much easier and use double-sided adhesive. This is a must anytime you need to glue any small letters or pieces down. It's honestly one of my favorite laser hacks. Just adhere your sheet or roll to the back side of your material. Then using a scraper tool, press the adhesive down and remove any air bubbles. Cut your adhesive down to size and it's ready for the laser. You'll keep the adhesive side down on the laser bed and keep the masking your acrylic came with side up. The laser will cut through the material and the adhesive so no more messy glue downs or accidents with overspill. This video only shows one of my sample pieces, but once I was happy with how everything looked, I just copied and pasted the file and then changed the names and positions or titles on each of the tags. Once they were all done on the laser, it was time to prep them. When the tags are scored, engraved, and cut, remove from the laser, and then you're gonna wanna brush out any extra debris. I just take an old toothbrush and clean out the engrave. I use the large cut negative remain as a template. This makes painting the tags so much easier. I use my favorite matte finish as a first layer. This gives the paint a more even base to fill in the text. Just spray a very light coat on. Next, I grab my white paint and started to spray onto each engrave. The key is really to coat multiple light layers into the engrave just until you can't see any more of the acrylic showing. Spray one last coat of the sealer and let these dry overnight. If by chance you happen to have any spots the spray paint didn't cover, I like using these paint markers to fill in. A few of the tags only needed a little dab or two. And now it's time to assemble everything. Let me introduce you to one of my favorite tools of all time. I find myself grabbing this little punch tool every time my thunder runs a project. It's so handy for poking little pieces out and weeding masking paper off projects. I love how much these come to life once you take the masking off the front of the acrylic. Carefully lift off the protective layer from the front side of your tag. The bulk of it will come off, then you just need to remove the portion where you have scored anything. It all should lift off very easily. Even using the leftover acrylic as a template for each tag, a little bit of the residual paint was left over. To clean this up, just grab a rag and a little bit of alcohol and wipe off the sides. Next, I grab the cutout names and remove the brown masking from the front side of each of them. Then just remove the masking from the back side of each name. It will come off just like a sticker. And this is where those score lines I made will come in handy. Instead of guessing where each name is supposed to be placed, you already have a guide built right in. Just line it up and press down. With the tags all ready to go, engraved, painted, names attached, and edges cleaned up, just remove the masking paper from the back of each tag. Didn't these come out great? This was definitely the project that got me hooked on acrylic. And the last step in making these keychains was putting them together. I used a keychain ring on the tags and also decided to add a cute little cutout volleyball to each of them. I found these little clasps on Amazon and thought they would be perfect to attach the tags to backpacks. And these were all set to go. I love how they turned out and I'm so thankful I was asked to make them. These were given to the boys' teams at their end of the season banquet as a little gift from their coach. These are something I definitely plan on offering to other local sports teams and high schools. These bag tags were a hit with all of the teams I made them for. They were so easy to design, quick to make, and I can't wait to offer this product next fall season. Since there are girls teams, boys teams, club sports, rec sports, dance teams, cheerleading squads going all year round, this is a niche where money can be made. There are so many products that can be made for sports teams, but this quick little project is a great place to start. All right, friends, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.